bottom of my broken heart Cause I think I'd rather strike a match than curse the dark Yeah, I'll find some way to thank you For the bitterness is real and hard Cause I'd rather take a chance on hope than fall apart Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to surrender to the dark, no Even if my daylight never dawns Even if my breakthrough never comes to bring you praise Even if my dreams fall to the ground Even if I'm lost, I know I'm found Even if my heart will somehow say Hallelujah anyway yeah, I hear a hymn of triumph of my lament In the lowlands of the mountains I won't forget it All that goodness that you have shown me The promises that you have kept There's better days on the horizon Oh my head Even if my daylight Chris, thanks for sitting down with us. Um, would love to chat with you about your new song, Hallelujah Anyway. Yeah, this is one of our favorites off the album. And actually, it, it took a while to come together. Um, it, it started off as a song that I brought kind of the verses and the concept for it because, well, essentially, one of the things that I've been wrestling with personally um, since 2020, et cetera, et cetera, um, has been just trying to reconcile, I guess, like a lot of difficulty and struggle in my own life. Um, my son was diagnosed with autism in like oh, wow. April of mm -hmm. 2020. And that, that's been a real, that's been a real source of grief, honestly, for me and my wife and uh, something that we've been really wrestling through. And yeah. then of course that was the same time that we basically lost our job for a minute there. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was during those times trying to find a way to, I guess, well, literally the first line of the song is, I'll find a way to praise you from the bottom of my broken heart. Yeah, and It's trying to find, I guess, that that joy and something to celebrate, even in the middle of situations that you just, well, there isn't anything to celebrate. Yeah. And trying to find a, a believable worship song that you can actually sing in that season. So I brought it to these guys. Um, well, not these guys, this guy and Matt Meyer, who's not here. 
um, but you can do an impression of him. Um, <laughs> hello. And, uh, and we turned it into... Uh, I, don't, I don't even have an impression. To no, give. no, he doesn't, he doesn't saying, really. Your grace is enough. I don't know. You yeah. could do it like it's a generic Canadian impression. Yes. Like, what's that about? <laughs> but he doesn't even talk like no, that. No, he doesn't do that, but no. still. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I guess from there, we kind of moved this from like being quite a like kind of depressing song in, into something a bit more anthemic and, and something that I, fe I feel like now it's really riding this really cool line of feeling like a real anthem without really leaning on any of the, the tropes or any of the mm -hmm. things that you normally say in worship. Like yeah. the, the first line of the chorus is, even if my daylight never dawns, even if my breakthrough never comes. Yeah. And there's never that moment of, but it's all going to be okay. Like that, the song doesn't do that. And I think that's really special. Totally. Yeah, the honesty sometimes in uh, worship songs and church songs can be lacking. You yep. know, it, I know that as a congregation, we obviously want to encourage each other coming in, and there is a huge place for that. But something that's been a, a like um, a message of ours for years now is allowing those uh, those uh, lamentations to come in. Like uh, to lament is really part of our faith. And, it, yes. and again, we can we can simplify it and we can focus on the good stuff. And yes, we want people to go out the door and have a great time or we want to get get everybody woke up on a Sunday morning, you know. But we don't just always need worship caffeine. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's not all just about like spiritual Starbucks. Yeah. Like we, need, we need stuff that can sustain us and doesn't just raise our blood pressure and our excitement for a while. Yeah, yeah. But we need... We need uh, truth to lean on, and and so when when we were working on this song, uh, that's really what we're trying to bring the message of. No matter what happens, God still deserves praise. That's why it's hallelujah anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, He is worthy. No matter what we're going through, no matter what our experiences are, He is still the one who's on the throne. He is still the one who uh, deserves all our praise. And getting that place is hard. Like what Chris has been through and his family, mm -hmm. that's not something that, we don't want to write a song that people who have the same issues just feel like we're being blasé about their problems. Like those yeah. struggles are real. really, mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah. Um, but also at the same time, if we just get into a situation where there is no encouragement and no faith and no stirring, then we go down a really dark path without any hope. Yep. And hope really is, I think what this mm -hmm. song's about, it's not hope that's splashed all over in neon lights, but it yep. is a subtle it is. hope. It's that a very comes. hopeful song. Yeah. But I think it's, it's, it's hope that's, that's theologically sound as well. Cause I mean, I think right. we've all been there where you're like, Oh, I, I haven't had my break, the chorus, even if yeah. my breakthrough never comes. Okay, I haven't had my breakthrough come yet, so maybe there's something wrong with me. I haven't mm -hmm. prayed hard yeah. enough, or maybe there's something from my past, or I didn't believe, or you start to like question r terribly wrong theology. Yeah. But to be able to hear a song like this, I think will be so incredibly helpful for people that are walking through a hard season, and they're going, yeah, you know what? I've, I've done everything right. God actually, he loves me, called me his child, and mm -hmm. even though I'm walking in this hard season, I can still say, and I love that the verses do that. The, your verses yeah. are like, okay, I, I can choose in this moment, mm -hmm. you know, and there isn't like that solid decision quite yet. The right. course is, is so anthemic, but in those verses, it's like, yeah, it feels hopeless. And either I can just sit in it or <laughs> yeah. I can choose to praise in the middle of it. Right. I think that's so good to know. Cause I think a lot of people wait to praise until they feel like they've had some sort of miracle or breakthrough. Absolutely. And if you do that, you spend your whole life waiting. Yep. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like the reality is like, uh, if we're going to have like an adult mature faith, we, we need a theology of suffering. Um, yep. There's far more in scripture to support the idea that we're going to have trouble yes. than there is, than we're going to have like wall to wall victories. We're not, yep. um, we're not Floyd Mayweather in the spiritual <laughs> realm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, we're actually, we are going to run up against things and they're not going to turn out the way that we want them to. And they may never get resolved. And we need actually to find a way to worship through that. Yeah. Yeah. I think sometimes as a church, we can be guilty of trying to create like a Disney magical kingdom. Like mm -hmm, you walk yeah. in and everything is beautiful and perfect, but it's not real. And in our songwriting and in our song choices, we can choose songs that say, hey, you might have walked in sick today, but it's going to be all right because you're in the house of God and you're going to get healed. Mm -hmm. Yet we still have lots of friends, um, family members who 
actually have been carrying long-term sickness, mm. who've been walking through issues that that aren't simple and have brought great grief and suffering. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we, can, we can't just tell that story of, of the, the magical kingdom. I yeah, mean, yeah. the only magical kingdom we get to taste is whenever we, we go to heaven. That'll yeah. be the magical kingdom, but right now we've got the, the earth, yeah. <laughs> earthly kingdom. Which is the opposite. And it yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, we know it's the opposite. And that's, I guess, for, for us in writing this song, we want to uh, encourage the church and bring back, uh, I guess, these, these subjects into our daily and our weekly um, conversations yeah. and into our dictionaries and language again yeah you know that's great i mean i think overall it's such a well-balanced song that doesn't you know sometimes we can go too far and it's like oh we should all suffer you know? <laughs> yeah right <laughs> um, yeah that's it's, also it's true so, it, you guys have balanced it so well that it is a praise song and it doesn't need a solution or a resolution right to be that praise song because the resolution is the fact that god's still in control like i'll, mm -hmm. I'll still praise you in the midst of this so um Really, I love the song. Love your, I personally just love your guys' honesty when you write. Um, so I really appreciate you guys taking the time and sharing this with us. Absolutely.